Welcome to Finland! Good morning! Today we are spending the day in Helsinki. Unfortunately, we're having an extremely gray day today. Almost all snow has melted, but apparently there's supposed to be a proper snowstorm tomorrow. But yeah, today we still have a bit of a gray day, unfortunately. Um, we're soon gonna go and have something to eat. But first we're gonna quickly pop into the National Library of Helsinki, because my boyfriend's never seen it. And it's a really, really beautiful building. Next, we are going to go to a place called Suomenlinna, which is like a fortress island here in Helsinki. It is, yeah, historically a very important place here and a very cool place to visit, especially in the summertime. Our original plan was to go there and have like this winter wonderland day and see it when it's completely covered in snow. We were thinking, should we go even though there's not really snow? But then we thought actually it could be kind of cool to see it when it looks a bit more rough and I don't know, has a bit shut island vibes and it's a bit of a, like a foggy gray day so yeah I think we're gonna go there anyway to get there you take a boat and the boat leaves here right by the market square how you pay it you just buy like a regular bus ticket basically or like a public transport ticket We have managed to get to Suomen and Linda, but the weather is really, really awful. So to escape it a little bit, we came to a military museum that they have here. It uh, looks pretty cool, especially for my boyfriend, who is a historian. This is the perfect activity. Okay, don't mind that I look like a crazy person, but of course we have to visit some of the famous like bunkers and stuff here. And we're now in one big one. And yeah, my uh, <laughs> I don't look so good, but oh, this is really cool. to a cafe and we ordered this bun that's called a voisilma pulla. It means a butter eyed bun. And then I got a hot chocolate and we're gonna share this. And we also got a cinnamon bun that we're gonna share. So this way we get to have both because we couldn't choose which one, <laughs> which bun to get. Okay, so we didn't end up seeing super much of the island, but we decided that we'll rather revisit during the summer and then see it properly. I've obviously been here many times before, but yeah, it's not so much fun maybe in this weather. <laughs> so we're now taking the ferry back to the city center.
we have just arrived to our cottage. So my father also flew to Finland. He lives in Switzerland. And this evening we had like a family dinner all together. And then we drew to our cottage. That's like a one hour drive from Helsinki. And luckily there's much more snow here, which is nice. It looks really nice here and it's really cozy. I haven't been properly visiting in a while, especially like winter time. So yeah. Good morning or good day as it's already like 12 or something. We are in a place called Messila and the cottages are situated right in between ski slopes. So here we have one ski slope for example. Yeah, currently we're out on a walk with the dogs and soon we are going to one of the restaurants by the ski slopes and we're gonna have some lunch there. to have some lunch and we're having some very fancy gourmet <laughs> we're having a makara peronat which is sausage and fries i have some chili nuggets and fries we've now eaten and we're going for a bit of a walk and we're uh, walking down towards the lake here Okay, so this is kind of crazy and random, but there is a helicopter here at the beach and it would only be 60 euros for a helicopter ride. Hmm, I kind of want to go, but it's so random. Should I do it or not? <laughs> Could I have a card, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
today we have had a very eventful day here at the cottage. I feel like I haven't really had properly time to talk to you guys. I decided not to go skiing today because my stomach was hurting quite a lot. And we went on a helicopter ride, which was quite crazy. Yeah, we pretty much within five minutes decided to get on the helicopter. And yeah, the views were beautiful. The ride was only, I think, a bit more than five minutes, so it wasn't very long. But it was really cool to see the area from above and we saw our cottage from above. Above. I've once been in a helicopter before but that's like 10 years ago in Australia so it had been a very long time and for my boyfriend it was his first time so it was very very exciting. Um, I do think once you get opportunities like that you should really grab those opportunities and not be like ah maybe we'll do it tomorrow because then I've learned that it usually ends up not happening so i'm really glad we did that our family friends that are staying in the other cottage came to this cottage and yeah we had dinner all together and after that we had a very long uno tournament <laughs> so yeah it's been a really fun and eventful day now i think we're gonna go to bed so good night and see you tomorrow Good morning from Winter Wonderland. It has been snowing all night long. We are now out for a winter walk and it looks so beautiful. in my own country being so amazed by the snow, you know. So unfortunately our time here at the cottage is coming to an end and we need to get back to Helsinki soon. Apparently there's been a lot of snow fall all night long also there. So Helsinki will also be full of snow. But yeah, before going, I want to give you guys a bit of a tour of our cottages. So we actually have two of these cottages and these cottages are situated like in between the ski slopes. Here is one of our cottages and here is another one. So this cottage out of the two is the slightly smaller one. This is the one that usually we stay with if I come with friends or if we have some family or friends visiting. And yeah, unfortunately I can't show the inside of it at the moment, but it's very similar to this cottage where we stayed this time. So here you can see the terrace of our other cottage. This is a place where we usually sit during the summertime when we're having a barbecue. We also have this part out there is actually a lake, but it's very foggy today, so you can't really see it. But yeah, the view from here is really pretty. Okay, so this is what it looks like by the entrance. So over here we have a kitchen, and here we have our entrance hall. And then over here is our bathroom. And then when you come in here, we have a shower. And of course, because we're in Finland, there is a sauna. Over here we have the kitchen table. And from here we have a very beautiful view. And right next to it we have the living room. And we have also a fireplace here. And then there's the master bedroom in here. And then there's a small office as well. And here you can see on the... In the ceiling we have these really old skis that are pretty cool. And then we still have upstairs. So let's go up. So if there's more people visiting, like now, we slept here upstairs. So here we have one bed. This is where we slept. Here we also have a small TV and a chair for movie nights. But yeah, and from upstairs you can see the downstairs, which is quite fun. So it's like an open space. And yeah, that is pretty much it.
goodbye our cottage in Messila. Hopefully we'll see each other again in the summer. We have made a pit stop on our way to Helsinki to where else but Hesburger. If you don't know, this is a very famous burger chain from Finland. arrived to Helsinki but we are leaving immediately because we are going to go walking to a beach it should be really pretty with all the snow we have now arrived to an area that is really close to where I grew up our house used to be like a few hundred meters from here it feels super nostalgic to be here it's really really beautiful here lovely walk now I think we're gonna start heading back we are having some homemade pizza for dinner looks really really good unfortunately Today is our last day here in Finland and we're flying back to the Netherlands. Luckily our flight today doesn't leave until 6 p.m. and currently it's only like not even 10 a.m. so we still have the full day ahead of us which is really nice and our plan is to go into the city center of Helsinki and spend the day there. Our plan is to visit some shops. I want to visit at least some bookshops still and some like Finnish brand shops. So yeah still a nice day ahead of us here in Finland so gotta enjoy it to the fullest just had to say goodbye to my mom now for some bubble tea and I think after this we're gonna go uh, to a supermarket and buy a bunch of Finnish foods to bring back home. looking restaurant. I think this is quite recently opened. It's in the central railway station and it has this really cool retro look to it. It's basically in the space where they used to sell tickets but these days most tickets are pretty much just sold online. I think they have a few ticket counters but back in the days this whole room used to just be for buying tickets. There would be so many ticket counters here but yeah it's good that they are now using this space for something else as that wasn't really in use anymore.
hartelijk welkom aan boord in deze vlucht naar Amsterdam. Dear passengers, captain, my name is Dan Hammer, so welcome on board. I am now back in the Netherlands. We arrived yesterday evening back home, so I thought I'd show you guys a bit what I bought from Finland. Mostly I bought food, but I bought some other things too, so yeah. First thing I bought uh, was from this um, shop called Oma Puati, and it was like a bit this like touristic shop, but better quality than regular tourist shops. But this one was selling like handmade things in Finland. So I bought this cute pouch. Uh, it has these little foxes on it and I thought this was so cute. Yeah, this is maybe not so exciting, but I got these like stockings from a shop called Kubus. So they have this kind of pattern on them. The next thing is not something I bought, but something I received as a gift. I got these knitted socks. My godmother actually made these herself. And I think these are the cutest pink color. I'm sure I will be using these a lot. I also bought two books. I wanted to buy some books uh, from Finland that are in Finnish and written by Finnish authors. So not books that are translated into Finnish. So the first book I bought was this book called Margarita. It's by an author called Anni Kutomäki. And yeah, it's a fiction book. I've heard good things about it, so. And then a second book was one that my friend recommended me. It's called Sang. And this is actually a fantasy book by an author named Elina Pitkekangas. Apparently it's more about like Chinese mythology and stuff. So <laughs> it has nothing to do with Finland. But the fact that it's written by someone Finnish and it is in Finnish was already enough for me. Then something slightly <laughs> less exciting is that I bought a bunch of socks. Yeah, nothing super exciting. These very basic looking um, socks. Then I also bought one makeup item from a Finnish brand. This is a concealer I always use when wearing makeup. And it was this Lumene, Lumene concealer. This one is amazing. I've used it for many years. Every time I buy something else, I regret it. <laughs> so yeah. I also needed to have space to bring everything home. I couldn't fit it in my suitcase. So I actually bought a bag <laughs> where to put all the food and shoppings that I got. So I ended up buying this Moomin bag in order to fit everything with me back home. And on the bag it says, the world is full of great and wonderful things for those who are ready for them. I thought that is perfect for me. But yeah, I'm gonna show you quickly still the Finnish foods that I bought. So I bought this thing called Peruna Rieska. It's basically bread made out of potato. This bread is so good, especially if you warm it up and then you put some butter on it that melts on top of it and some cheese. And then I got some more bread because Netherlands being a country that eats a lot of bread, I must say the bread selection here is not that great. So I got this rye bread and this rye bread. And I didn't just get rye bread, I also got this oat bread. Finland is famous for its rye bread, but actually the oat bread that we have there is really good as well. So you should definitely try this if you get the chance. I also got this bag of pick and mix. This is something I miss also in the Netherlands. I've seen that you can buy pick and mix candy sometimes on the market and sometimes in some shops, but usually the selection is not so good or it's extremely expensive. But yeah, this is basically a bag of my favorite candies that I have picked out myself. And I also bought this Salmiaki chocolate. So this is chocolate that is filled with gooey, salty licorice. A lot of people hate it. <laughs> But this is probably my favorite chocolate in the world. It is so good. If you love salty licorice and chocolate, try this. Then I also got this seasoning, a few bags. It is something we call Grillimauste, which is a barbecue seasoning. And this is really, really good when you put it on french fries, for example. And then last but not least, I bought three packages, two of the same, of these like ready sauces. <laughs> I know this is really random. This one is chanterelle mushrooms and this one is like a creamy sauce. Whoa, 
So these are really handy when cooking. If you're feeling a bit lazy and you still want a nice sauce with your food, you just usually mix this with some water or milk or whatever and warm it up and you get a really delicious sauce. There are some here in the Netherlands as well, but I don't think they're as good. So I hope you have enjoyed joining me to Finland and exploring my home country together with me. I will also be going to Finland in the summer, so then you'll be seeing Finland in a totally different season. It looks very different then. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.